Hi, welcome to Fusion Online. We have another video and today we're talking about studio dynamics and cleaning your reformer. Very important. Now, if you're wondering, the vinyl of the reformer needs to be cleaned after every client. <laughs> every single client. So we have this mixture of water, tea tree oil, and you can also put in a little bit of um, lavender oil in here too, so it smells nice and yummy. Um, for usually about every eight to ten ounces of water you're going to put um, eight drops of tea tree oil and then you can add just two or three drops of lavender. That usually does the trick. So you don't want to use any harsh chemicals on your vinyl. So you're not going to be using any of your Lysol or any of that stuff. Just this water and tea tree oil is, is a really good um, mix because the tea tree oil acts, um, it's, acts to kill all the, the bacteria that might be on the, the vinyl. So you just spray it on, clean it off, make sure that you get the carriage, the shoulder blocks, the headrest, and your foot bar there. Now, it's a whole different story for your tracks. And your tracks, if you have a busy studio, it's really good that you clean them every few days to every once a week. And on your tracks, you can use a Lysol type of product. So you can use some chemicals on the track. So you'll just spray it on, right, and get your paper towel or a towel and make sure that you don't have any little um, bumps on your tracks because that can really uh, be um, kind of gunk up the tracks and that can impede any of the exercises that you're going to do and also can lead to damage of your machine later on and it can um, affect the wheels a lot. So you want to make sure that you have all the hair, all the gunk off the tracks. Good. All right, and you also would clean at the other end also. Now another thing that you want to look at is um, in between the headrest and the rope clips and all of this, which is really hard to get to, but there's a lot of hair and dirt that accumulate. So you can get your trusty little paintbrush here and just dust a little bit around here, getting rid of any hair or any dust that might accumulate. Good. So once you've cleaned your tracks and you're noticing as people go out and in on the reformer that it's still, it's not a very nice glide. Um, you can use your silicone spray on the tracks. So you want to use just a little bit of this um, and you don't want to go crazy with this like every day. Maybe if you're in a busy studio you might use this once a month. So all you do with this guy is just spray a little bit on the tracks you let it dry a little bit and then it's ready to go. All right, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.